This module will cover classification of selected documents and arrangement of abstracts. Objectives. At the end of this module, you will be able to discuss the criteria for classifying selected literature and explain different ways of arranging the abstracts. Getting into specifics. After selecting the documents, it is advisable to classify the documents. We are going to explain convenient ways of categorizing the documents which will facilitate writing research review. When you categorize, you can categorize the material in two ways. First is according to the relevance of your topic and second is according to source and its importance. For example, primary or secondary sources and for the first category relevance, you can categorize that into most relevant, probably relevant and probably irrelevant. When the researcher classifies the documents on the basis of relevance, that is most relevant, probably relevant, probably irrelevant. Here the possibility is that at the stage of probably irrelevant, the documents may have to be deleted. It's okay at this stage, later on you can take the decision, but here we can categorize and keep such documents. When again we consider the criteria of source for categorization, of course primary sources are the most important because they are the primary sources of research and hence primary sources should be given supreme importance when you select your documents or when you categorize the documents first primary sources can be organized. Arrangement. As you have the abstracts of documents ready and they are to be classified. They can be classified subtopic wise. Next step is to arrange them with your critical comments about the document. Let us take one example. If the researcher's topic is cooperative learning and science process skill, it can be divided. Both the segments, cooperative learning and science process skills, will be the main categories for the researcher. For the first category, types of cooperative le learning methods and importance and examples of cooperative learning methods can be one that is first of the two categories and for the science process skills, observation and experiment can be these two subcategories. So you can arrange accordingly. After Categorizing the abstracts, we have to arrange them. Arrangement can be historical, chronological or subtopic wise and then by date. For modern topics like cloud computing, websites or scholarly communication, it is advised that it should be date wise. Date wise arrangement will follow from latest to the earliest pattern. Thus, abstracts of recent articles should precede those of the earlier old articles. You can divide the dates into two or three segments. Like for example, the articles from 1991 to 2000, articles from 2001 to 2010 and the articles from 2011 till date. So this will be date wise arrangement of the topics wherein you want to underline the development of the topic. Just as arrangement of abstracts can be by subtopics, it can be by dates. Similarly, it can be by subtopics and date combined. Let us take one example. If your topic is open access, there can be two subtopics namely open access software and open access repositories. If you are considering these two subtopics, then under each subtopic, you can consider or you can take up abstracts date wise from recent to the oldest. This can be the arrangement. 
as seen in the examples till now researcher may adopt subject or subtopic wise or even date wise or both subtopic and date wise that is date wise within subtopic wise arrangement still the rule of the thumb in social sciences is from the latest to the earliest so if we take open access movement then from 2000 onwards if we start then to show the development from 2000 to 2017 start with the documents from the recent that is 2017 documents up to the documents in 2000 that will help so date wise arrangement should be from recent to the old documents for interdisciplinary topics the arrangement can be discipline wise for example if the topic is students behavior in the classroom then the researcher can find out material from education then education psychology and pure psychology so here you arrange discipline wise if you are a student of education first you can take education then you can take education psychology and then you can take the material in psychology so discipline wise you can arrange the abstracts this is another method if the topic is interdisciplinary summary to summarize in this session we have seen the classification of selected documents one by relevance and second by source that is most relevant probably relevant and probably irrelevant and source wise is primary and secondary this was covered in this session we have also seen arrangement of abstracts by subtopic by date by subtopic and date from recent to old and discipline wise for interdisciplinary research thank you